McFly have just released a new single and are days away from starting a huge tour. But if they want to put on a good show, getting fit is essential. Danny's chosen to get in shape with a personal trainer at home. Come on, Danny, show us what you're made of. Oh, no! Not again. What was he called? Oh, the new guy, yeah. Have you got headphones he on? He was well confident, though, wasn't he? Sorry. Yeah, I mean... Just talk about it's one of the most challenging ones I've got vocally. But I just want to do this for fun, I just love it. It's just my way of keeping fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I can't go to the gym or anything. But, oh, we tried, didn't we? We tried that. If they want to be pinned on every girl's bedroom wall, the guys must train hard. To help Harry with his exercise regime, he trains with his best friend from school, Ben. He's really bad at basically. I'm, I'm, I'm all about up, okay. playing rugby, you know, keeping myself in my physical peak, you know, because I'm a sportsman. But for Harry, it's all about image. I'm which a is a bit sad, actually. You're on a slump, definitely. <laughs> we got in shape. Then we did this attitude photo shoot. Ever since it's been like, yeah, McFly, I've really buffed up. We're not really at all. Photos are just accept how I look. Sometimes a cringe, but... There's that photo in Attitude where I'm like that. I'm wearing sunglasses and I'm lying... And I'm lying down like that. I found I got more self-conscious as I got older. People think you'd be really confident being in a band, which I think we are, have a certain amount of confidence, but also quite self-conscious and, you know, it's ridiculous, but... Yeah, that's the way it is. But looking good takes a lot of work. No pain, no gain, Danny. This is the worst feeling in the world. Why can't you feel good? With the new single to promote, the band are being kept busy. Next up is a performance on the Alan Titchmarsh Show. Afternoon. We've been coming here for years, here for seven years. We've been doing TV shows here. We've been talking about the single. The single is out this week. And then the tour as well, trying to promote the tour. I think we've done at the Alan Titchmarsh show before. I can't actually remember if we have or not. But they all kind of blur into one a little bit. It's a full day with rehearsals, makeup, and recording the show itself. You know, start. Yeah. With Dougie still missing from the lineup, Tom will be on bass. Why on earth am I putting couscous on my single? During the rehearsals, Harry gets a tweet from Jedward. It was after I tweeted about Dougie. Harry, tell Doug John and Edward are here and tell him if he meets Brittany or any other rehab people that we say hello. Peace out. Love, Jedward. <laughs> in the dressing room and Danny's fame rating is upped by another tweet. My tweets get up there with Gaga, so that's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. I've never been in there, to be honest. Well, the same suit on. But elsewhere in the magazine, the band come across another story on Dougie. He'll be annoyed about that, because it's not a very good picture of him. There we go, be happier about that picture. Although used to being in the public eye, this is McFly's biggest news story so far, and they're very protective of what's being said about their friend. But despite the off air concerns, the boys can still turn out a star performance. Thanks. <laughs> I'm starting to get used to this gig without Dougie.
It's the morning of Danny's birthday, and girlfriend Georgia has a surprise in store. What a lovely day. Happy birthday. What the hell is this? Why have you done that? Happy, because that's a present. <laughs> what a door. <laughs> Georgia has somehow managed to keep what lays behind the locked door a secret for weeks. Whoa! Georgia has converted an entire room into Danny's very own gym. Hopefully, there'll be less need to chuck up in the garden now. How the hell have you done that? <laughs> That's amazing! Do you like it? Love it! <laughs> Why did you do that? It's a shame I don't work out anymore, isn't it? <laughs> That night, the birthday party kicks off with dinner at celebrity haunt Gilgamesh. <laughs> Danny and Georgia are joined by the rest of the band, their girlfriends, and some other mates. Happy birthday, Danny! Happy birthday, Danny! Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, everyone. After dinner, it's upstairs to the VIP area, where Danny makes clear that this is just the start of a big night out. Still up for it, Danny heads to Ministry of Sound to catch up with buddy Roger Sanchez. Well, Tom and Harry call it quits for the night. It's guaranteed me and Tom will just be sat there just looking at each other going. Danny is normally on tour on his birthday, so we didn't really know what to do with us. Are you enjoying trying to keep up with him? Can you keep up? No, with him? no, you cannot keep up. You can't keep up with him. Let's rave! Let's rave! Danny hangs out with Roger behind the decks as the party goes on into the early hours. After being in rehab for four weeks, Dougie is back and is hanging out with Tom before they go to rehearsals. <laughs> this is Dougie's girlfriend, this one. It's <laughs> wrong, I actually find that cat quite attractive. <laughs> but with only three days left to practice the set before McFly's biggest UK tour in two years, the pressure is on. Dougie being Dougie breaks the ice by winding up the lads. Fortunately, Harry's on hand to help with a pointer. But after messing around, Dougie has work to do and gets down to going through the whole set, song by song. Oh, fuck. That's what I Finally, he gets his mojo back. Word is out that Dougie is back, and fans have tracked him down to the rehearsal rooms. They are obviously ecstatic to see McFly together again. Next time on McFly on the Wall, Danny shows us around his pad before heading off on tour. Got this brightening watch off Rod Stewart. The band hit the road. They see their most impressive stage to date go up in flames. <laughs> And first night nerves kick in. Apprehensive, but nervous. Welcome to McFly TV. We're in my garage at the moment, which has now become a TV studio. 
Here on McFly TV, you can see us challenge ourselves in some stupid stunts where we freeze, electrocute, and gorge ourselves. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. You may have noticed some rather solidly frozen t-shirts on the table. The competition is to see who can get their t-shirt on the quickest. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's ripped. To find out who wins, check out www.channel5.com forward slash McFly.